since you showed up, how your team played, everything? Yeah, well, first and foremost, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to be able to do this, more specifically for the, for the students, for the uh, kids, the young people that are in the Oakland Zoo. Um, they're a big part of what we do. And so to be able to have them here, for them to see the team, to engage and interact is really, really good. For us, it gives us a chance here to play with some people in the stands, to see you know, kind of how we are. I've always felt like that it's different when there are people here than when you're just in practice. Um, I thought we were quieter today than we've been. Part of it is that it's at times that can happen after a day off. Um, you know, we were off yesterday. We had a really good practice on Wednesday, um, a really demanding practice. And uh, we haven't been able to do much five on five where we're getting up and down. We haven't been able to do that because of injuries and guys being out. And so the past two practices today and on Wednesday, we've done that. And the takeaway for me is that we need to do that more. We, we, we need to play more uh, to get ourselves in better game shape. How do you feel about your two young freshman guards and how they've handled both the workload, but also just taking it step by step? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with them. I mean, like I've, I've said all along, they're talented. They're hard workers. Um, they're easy to coach. Uh, they want to get better. Like they really want to get better and they've gotten better. And we have a lot of confidence in both of them. Is it fair to deem both the starter right now? Like I don't think it's fair. I mean, we're, 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 you know, looking at different lineups, just trying to see, you know, who can play, who, who's going to start, what, what groups work the best. That's for me, that's what it always comes down to. Um, I think the only guy that it's fair to say is Blake. What, you see anything today, uh, Jeff, that maybe we hadn't seen in previous practices? I know Lowe had a pretty decent workout today. Yeah, I, I don't think I, it was anything that I haven't seen. I mean, these guys have been good every day. They've had great attitudes. Um, they've been about the right stuff. They've tried to pick up and learn. They're quick learners. That, that's one of the things that I've been impressed with is that they were able to pick things up pretty quickly. I know uh, we talked to Will the other day, and he, he just talked about being more assertive and you know, just thinking less, and I think you talked about that a few weeks ago. I mean, are you seeing that translate on the court right now? Yeah, I think Will has played really well. He's, um, he's definitely more confident than the last time he was out there playing. I think last year was really good for him, although it was tough. I think it was really good for him just to sit back and watch, to learn, to work on him, to be able to work on his body. And uh, he's had a really good spring and summer, and I think that's translated to the fall, um, where he's kind of a guy that does a little bit of everything for us. And uh, he's going to be a really important guy for us. One thing that both uh, Bob and Jalen told us this week was that, you know, they've had their welcome to college basketball moments with their teammates, where like guys like Blake and they, people have shown them, hey, it's a lot more physical here. It's a lot, a lot bigger of a challenge. How much does that help you as a coach to have players who can kind of instill that in, in some of your young guys before they have to play any games? Well, I've, I've always felt like the best teams are player led. When you have experience um, on your roster, and guys that have won and know how to win and know kind of the rigors of college basketball, if they can impart wisdom to young guys, then I've always felt like that's when you have a chance to be at your best. Um, those guys listen to me definitely, unequivocally, but sometimes it means a little bit more when it's coming from a, a player, and especially a really good player, and Blake's a really good player. And so, uh, those guys have been great. I mean, Blake, Fetty, the twins, Will, those guys, KJ Marshall, who was a part of it last year, they've been really, really good with our younger guys. You guys are the Have you seen the weight that the twins added kind of translate and affect their game in the way that you wanted? Yeah, I have. I mean, they made the decision uh, last spring and summer to stay here. They, they didn't want to go back and do anything with the national team. They wanted to stay here and work with our strength and, and, and conditioning coach. And uh, they've gotten stronger. Where I've seen it is, is they're more confident. Uh, they're able to play through physicality better than they were last year for longer periods than they were last year. Uh, but more importantly, they're just, they're more confident. 
um, in their bodies and in, in their ability. You guys are replacing a lot of shooting from last year's team. I think I calculated 42% from three, just obviously in one practice. But are you satisfied with how they're shooting the ball from the outside? I am. So far? I am. That's been pretty consistent. I think we have guys that can shoot the basketball. Um, the thing we want to do is generate really good shots, really good looks. And if we take good shots, and if we're able to generate really good shots, then I feel confident in our ability to make them. It was, it was just one practice or one scrimmage that we saw, but I thought Fetty looked stronger with the basketball and the way that he would attack and protect and go and go up with it. Would you say that he's improved in that regard? I think he's improved. You know, one of the things I think maybe that all of us, when I say us, you guys included, like you'd look at him maybe at the end of the year where he was hurt and he wasn't himself really after the Georgia Tech game. He got hurt in the Georgia Tech game and he was he, he was never the same, um, you know, from that point on. Uh, I think he's obviously he's healthy, he's stronger, he's more confident because of experience and success. Um, and he's really, really worked on his game. The his coaches for the national team back in Finland did an unbelievable job when he was back there, obviously trying to integrate the, him into what they're trying to do. But they really, we had a partnership where we talked about the things we wanted him to work on for us. And they were able to do some of those things um, in their individual skill work stuff. And so when he got back, he was refreshed, he was ready to go. And um, he's obviously a huge part of what we do. We always talk about or ask about, you know, the two freshman guards. Where, where do you see Marlon Barnes and, you know, how's he come along? Yeah, Marlon's, you know, done a good job. I mean, he's going to be a good player for us. Um, you know, he's it's going to take a little bit more time. He's got to get a little bit stronger. And, it, you know, really that off guard forward position, there are a lot of guys. Uh, but he can make a shot. He's a really good athlete. He's an unbelievable kid. You know, he wants to be really good, and he's a worker. Fetty added strength for Guillermo and Jorge and Fetty. Is that translating to more aggressiveness and more confidence in the paint area? I think so. I think so. Look, they're never going to be like these physical specimens. That's just not who they're going to be. Their bodies aren't like that. But they have to be able to, you know, block out, to rebound, to play through contact. And I think that's what we've seen. Um with those guys with the strength and the work that they've put in the weight room that they continue to put in. I know uh, you didn't name a starter, obviously, at the point guard spot, but Bub has been getting those looks, taking the ball up in the scrimmage like we saw. What about his game makes you think he can play the point for you guys? Yeah, well, I think um, he's a student of the game. He, he learns very quickly. He has a really good feel for the game. Um, obviously, he can play off the bounce. He can create. He's been really good in ball screens, making reads. Um, he's done a good job, but so is Jalen. You know, it, it just happened today. That that's, that's the look that we wanted to go with earlier. We had Jalen out there. Um, both of those guys are going to play. Whoever starts, they both could start. I don't know. We're not – we don't have – and, again, I don't have Blake set in stone. I just don't see anybody beating them. Um, so I kind of have that one in stone. Uh, but – the rest of them, man, we, we have good players, and they're competing. And as a coach, that's what you want. What has Ish brought to you guys in practices so far? Well, today was his first day back, so he's been out for a little bit. He had a little knee injury that he just we just wanted to make sure there was nothing wrong. And so uh, he practiced for a little bit on Tuesday. That was the first day since last Thursday. Um, he was able to go a little bit on Tuesday, nothing Wednesday. We were off yesterday. So for him... He's been really good. He gives us another ball handler, another decision maker. He's a guy that can create offense off the bounce. He can catch and shoot. He rebounds very well for a guard. He's really competitive. He's, he's been really good. We didn't see the best version today just because there's rust and getting his legs back and things like that. But we anticipate him being a really big part of what we do. On the note of him being able to create those looks off the bounce, I mean, that's got to be really important for you guys considering what you're replacing at that Yeah, time. no question. No question. I mean, we felt like last year we had three guys that could create offense for us off the bounce. Um, and I feel like we have at least three now. Um, hopefully we can get to maybe one more. And then the rest of those guys understanding their roles and doing it at an incredibly high level. Was it those three would be Blake, Ish, and 
Zach. Bob. Oh, Bob. Yeah. 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 Jalen, I think, can do it. Um, and so, yeah, those are the guys I anticipate being able to create offense for us. The guards all rebounded pretty well today. Is that something you guys emphasize in practice or is they just – yeah, we need to rebound better, everyone. I mean, we that's that's an area where we have to really improve. I think we have an opportunity. So we made a huge jump offensively last year from where we had been. I think we have a chance to be really good again offensively, but where I think we can make a huge jump is defensively. We have length. We have athleticism. I think we hopefully have a little bit more quality depth than we had last year. Um, but that's an area, and to finish it out, we have to pursue the basketball and rebound. And we're going to need everyone. You know, I tell them all the time, I've, I've coached a guy that led the country in rebounding. I've, I've coached another guy that led a conference in rebound. two guys that led different conferences in rebounding. So I've had guys where I've coached where I can pencil in, okay, 11, 12 rebounds a game. I don't think we have – I mean, I would love to be wrong, and I say that to them hoping that one of them were like, screw you, coach, I'm going to show you. But we need to rebound. So for us, I don't I don't know if we have that. So we're going to have to gain rebound, and our guards are going to have to be a big part of that. It looked like Ore had seen, uh, seemed more confident shooting from beyond the arc a little bit there. Was that just kind of just for practice? or? Man, Jorge's better when the lights come on. Okay. So he's a guy. Jorge's got his first uh, Tuesday. We did We scrimmaged Tuesday. That was the first time he's played five on five continuous since July, mm -hmm. since the foot injury. Um, he's been able to practice, but like I mentioned, we haven't been able to go up and down, whether it's a four minute, five minute, eight minute, 10 minute, whatever it is. And so he's getting his legs back. But the thing I learned about him last year, he's, he's different when people are here, when the lights are on. And I think everyone, including his teammates, saw that today. So you're gonna have us around for all the practices now, right? Yeah, we, we need to have people here for all the practices. <laughs> We asked uh, Bub about this the other day uh, in the press conference, but how, from your point of view, does Blake lead? I think he leads by example. Blake's a guy, he's a worker. Um, he's a believer. Uh, he's a talker. He's really confident. And so I think he leads in all of those ways, by his actions, by his words. He's a guy because of what he's done, because of achievement and accomplishment, that all of these guys look up to and they respect because they know it's something that he earned. It wasn't something that was given to him. And he's a guy that commands a locker room, commands a huddle, um, and we need him to do it his way. You know, it's something that he's learning. Uh, last year he had a big voice, but he didn't have to do it in the manner in which he we need him to do it this year. And we're just trying to help him find his way of doing it. It's not going to be like Nelly or JB or Nike or Greg. It has to be authentic to who he is. You guys know him. He's a big personality. Um, he's an incredibly positive guy. Um, and he's a guy that all of these guys respect and look up to. You mentioned the guys from last year, Nelly, JB, Greg, Nike. Have you gotten a chance so far to watch what they're doing in Europe? Oh, yeah. Watch them, talk to them all the time. You know, really proud of them. Um, really happy for them. They seem to be happy, which 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 makes us happy, and they're all playing well. You know, those two guys, Mo is playing really well up in Toronto. I know he feels good about his opportunity up there, and he's going to try to make the most of it. Same as Justin down in Miami. So, really happy for the guys, and really rooting them on. All right, thanks. All right. Thank you.